We launched two Voyager spacecraft. They were basically the same, but they were on different paths. It's just exciting that we've been able to get it into interstellar space. We you know, people it. pointing at the screen and saying, what do you think that means? What do you think is going on? NASA's Voyager probes, launched 45 years ago, embarked on a groundbreaking interstellar mission, offering insights into our solar system and beyond. But now, in a shocking twist, the Voyagers have stumbled upon an impossible discovery. What are they doing right now? What will the Voyager spacecraft encounter? This video will concentrate on covering all the ongoing curiosity, so stick to the very end of this video. History On September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 embarked on its extraordinary journey from Cape Canaveral, Florida, propelled by the Titan 3E Centaur rocket. Fifteen days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 joined in, initiating a twin odyssey into the cosmos. Initially tasked with exploring Jupiter and Saturn and their moons, these intrepid probes surpassed their mission objectives. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have become record breakers, outlasting any other spacecraft and venturing farther from Earth than any human-made objects. Their monumental achievements include entering interstellar space, marking the first time humanity has reached beyond the confines of our solar system. The Voyager probes stand as iconic symbols of exploration, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge about the vast expanse of the universe. Venturing over 12 billion miles from Earth, the Voyager twin probes persist as pioneering interstellar explorers, consistently unveiling surprises for physicists. Their extraordinary achievements began over 40 years ago with unprecedented observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These early findings defied astronomers' expectations, revealing a level of geological activity on these moons that had been underestimated. Previously thought to be inactive and heavily cratered like our moon, these distant worlds instead showcased remarkable signs of ongoing geological processes challenging and reshaping our understanding of the outer reaches of our solar system. Voyager 2 Voyager programs, another part Voyager 2, an intrepid explorer, etched its name in history by achieving extraordinary milestones during its journey through the cosmos. In 1986, it became the first spacecraft to pass by Uranus, and a mere three years later, it conducted a flyby of Neptune. This unique trajectory sets it apart as the sole spacecraft to have ventured to these distant ice giants. Despite being over 12 billion miles away, Voyager 2 continues its odyssey, outlasting expectations with non-essential components and heaters turned off to conserve energy. This strategic measure extends their operational life into the next decade, with the estimated mission end date of 2030. From the dedicated scientists and engineers who embarked on this remarkable journey, the accumulation of the Voyager missions is a bittersweet moment. Their unwavering commitment and hard work have propelled the project far beyond its initial scope. The data stream backed by the Voyagers has become a wellspring of valuable insights, sparking numerous scientific discoveries and serving as a fount of inspiration for generations of researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 transcend the realm of ordinary spacecraft, meticulously designed as stable platforms. Their rotation rate is over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. The spacecraft's ingenious design, crafted to minimize visual blur during its high-speed journey through space, showcased its impressive imaging capabilities. Long before reaching the outer planets, the Voyagers captivated scientists and the public alike with images of Jupiter transmitted several months before their arrival. These early visuals, portraying Jupiter's intricate cloud formations and the iconic Great Red Spot, generate excitement at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, the revelation of active volcanoes on Io, Jupiter's moon, slightly larger than Earth's, marked a pivotal moment, establishing Io as the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Discovery The Voyagers, with their extraordinary imaging capabilities, captured more than 33,000 images, unveiling the mesmerizing beauty of Jupiter and its diverse moonscapes. Among their many surprising discoveries, the existence of faint rings around Jupiter stood out, adding a new layer of fascination to the gas giant. Voyager 2, in particular, unveiled that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, featured an icy shell exceeding 60 miles in thickness. 
These revelations defy previous assumptions, sparking increased interest in the potential habitability of distant icy moons and propelling further explorations into the mysteries of our solar system. Further Passage The Voyager's departure from Jupiter was a critical moment, receiving a gravity assist that propelled them towards Saturn. This boost was essential for escaping the Sun's gravitational pull and continuing their cosmic journey. Voyager 1, after bidding Jupiter farewell, approached Saturn and seized the opportunity to study Saturn's moon Titan, draped in an enigmatic orange haze. The mysteries of Titan's chemistry captivated scientists, leading to deeper investigations. Voyager 1 then altered its course, veering northward and ascending beyond the solar system's planetary plane, embarking on its interstellar odyssey. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 charted its course through the outer realms of our solar system, achieving historic flybys. In 1986, it approached Uranus, unveiling 10 previously unknown moons and expanding our understanding of the distant ice giants. Three years later, Voyager 2 reaches Neptune, capturing unprecedented details of this remote planet. During the Neptune encounter, the spacecraft recorded astounding wind speeds reaching up to 1,000 miles per hour, marking a milestone as the fastest winds ever documented on a planet within our solar system. Neptune's Azure Methane-Rich Atmosphere As Voyager 2 approached Neptune, it ventured within 2,980 miles of the planet's Azure Methane-Rich Atmosphere, unveiling unprecedented insights into this distant world. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, emerged as one of the solar system's coldest places with surface temperatures plummeting to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 235 degrees Celsius. Triton's unique features include ice volcanoes that expel nitrogen gas and icy particles up to five miles into the thin atmosphere. These remarkable discoveries significantly expanded our understanding of the diversity and intricacy of celestial bodies within our solar system, even in its outermost regions. Relatable Individuals a key figure in extending the Voyager missions beyond their initial goals was the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. Serving as a member of the Voyager mission's imaging team, Sagan ardently advocated for capturing one last set of images before shutting down the cameras on both spacecraft. These images would serve as a parting gift to humanity, a final glimpse of our home planet from the vast depths of space. Sagan's unwavering persistence paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward the inner solar system and captured a series of 60 images. The most iconic among them, known as the pale blue dot, remains an unforgettable symbol of our place in the cosmos, taken from a distance of 3.8 billion miles, making it the farthest image of our planet ever recorded. Voyager Mission The enduring saga of the Voyager mission unfolds like a captivating space odyssey a testament to its resilience over four decades as it beams essential data from the farthest cosmic frontiers. Amidst this technological marvel, the archaic 8-track tape system emerges as an unexpected hero, showcasing the visionary prowess of the mission's designers. In the nascent era of space exploration, digital storage was embryonic, prompting the selection of these robust tapes. Their durability and reliability have proven them to be cosmic workhorses, defying the passage of time. Serving as gatekeepers to the universe's profound enigmas, these 8-track tapes remain the stalwart custodians of our cosmic voyage, underscoring the mission's ingenious foundation. Durability Amidst the harsh cosmic environment of extreme temperatures, radiation, and the vacuum of space, the Voyager spacecraft persists resiliently, a testament to their enduring success. A pivotal strategy in these missions was the ingenious use of gravity-assist maneuvers in the intricate dance of celestial choreography, these maneuvers served as cosmic slingshots, leveraging gravitational forces to provide the necessary propulsion for the grand tour. This strategic finesse not only preserved precious fuel, but also enabled the spacecraft to achieve the velocities essential for exploring multiple distant destinations. The Voyager missions owe a substantial part of their triumph to this brilliant gravitational assist technique. The Deep Space Network Critical to the Voyager missions alongside gravity assist maneuvers was the indispensable deep space network, a celestial communication lifeline, without which these missions would be mere fantasies. The DSN constitutes a global array of colossal radio antennas 
strategically positioned in locations like California, Spain, and Australia. Ranging from 26 to an impressive 70 meters in diameter, these cosmic megaphones facilitate communication with spacecraft voyaging beyond Earth. The Voyager probes, equipped with cameras, sensors, and instruments, served as our cosmic eyes and ears. To decipher their transmitted data and provide directives, a robust communication system was imperative, and the DSN assumed this pivotal role. Imagine Voyager 1 journeying to the solar system's outer fringes, emitting a faint signal at the speed of light. Despite weakening across the cosmic expanse, the DSN's monumental antennas adeptly capture and amplify this whisper, transforming it into analyzable data for scientists. Beyond reception, the DSN also dispatches essential commands, solidifying its role as the communication backbone of interstellar exploration. The Heliopause Embarking on their interstellar odyssey, the Voyager probes encounter a pivotal milestone. The Heliopause, marking the boundary between our sun's influence and the expansive interstellar realm. Initially enshrouded in mystery, early estimates posited its location near Jupiter, but astronomer Bill Grunie's 1993 projections, placing it between 116 and 177 astronomical units, proved remarkably accurate. Voyager 1 confirmed these estimates two decades later, detecting the anticipated rise in plasma density at the heliopause. However, a perplexing puzzle emerged as no significant shift in the ambient magnetic field direction was observed. Voyager 2 mirrored these findings, reaching the heliopause at 120 AU without detecting expected magnetic field changes. Challenges to theoretical models arose as the heliosphere's behavior, anticipated to align with the sun's 11-year cycle, did not correlate with Voyager data. Insights gleaned from the Voyagers now suggest our sun has transitioned to a partially ionized section of the galaxy, influenced by ancient supernovae. As the indefatigable Voyager twins journey through interstellar space, their observations continue to unravel cosmic complexities, leaving scientists to ponder the enigmatic frontier that lies ahead. That's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for all future updates. See you next time.